I mean, other man has written a book because he's passionate about what he believes in and what he sees is needed in this country is a good friend of mine from Victoria, Mal White. We've kayaked down the Yarra River together. We've, uh, we've eaten, we've, um, we've swapped stories and um, he's a good man and this is his first time in a gathering like this, I think. So please welcome Mal White. Great to be here. I had the absolute privilege of setting up a national mentoring program for disadvantaged children in Australia called Kids Hope. It's a World Vision initiative. About 12,000 children have now been matched with a quality adult from the community. Fantastic. I was confronted over the five years of building that program with story after story of, child, of children that needed a mentor and in many, many cases, if not most, the story had an absent or disengaged father as part of that story. And I, I thought, I have to do something about this. If I get an opportunity, I would like to tackle it. I got my opportunity. I got diagnosed with leukemia. And that took me out of the workforce. And that stopped my life right in my tracks. As so I'm here today um, about men's health and also fatherhood. During five years of treatment, and uh, losing a lot of confidence and my working earning capacity, etc. I was confronted with my mortality. And I had to ask myself the question, if I have only got <coughs> a short time left to live on planet Earth, what's the one thing I want to do? The one thing I wanted to do was reach dads and encourage, challenge, smack them between the eyes with love and say, you need to be involved and engaged in your children's lives. Mm. So I started blogging. Never blogged before, never set up a website before, but I had a go. About two years later, to my surprise, it was more than just my mother reading my blogs. <laughs> <laughs> I had an audience that now spanned 83 countries of people reading my blog. So that was pretty encouraging. And this year, it's over 100 countries where there's dads and women reading what I've got to say about fatherhood. Uh, Tim Costello has kindly written a beautiful foreword uh, in my book. It's just come out recently as a paperback version, Good Dads, Great Dads. It is highly practical, it's full of pictures, many, many great stories from my own experience, but as both a son and as a dad, and it's totally practical for the everyday bloke. They can just read about it, get inspired, get involved, and really make a big impact in the future of their children, in, in the relationship that they will have with their children that will hope, hopefully last a lifetime. My motto is, be the dad you wish you had. Yeah, that's good. Be the dad you wish you'd had. Thank you. Thank you.